Question 14. Here is a grid of regular hexagons. The shaded shape has an area of 3 and a perimeter of 14. Draw another shaded shape on the grid which has an area of 4 this time but also a perimeter of 14. Well, let's first of all talk about the example that's been done for us. It says it's got area of 3, perimeter of 14. The area of 3 is from this. 1, 2, 3. The perimeter of 14 is when you count around the outside because that's what perimeter is, the distance around the outside. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's where that comes from. So what we've got to do is we're looking for an area of 4 and a perimeter of 14. First thing we might like to try is do 4 hexagons in a straight line like they are here. Let's see what happens if we do that. So, four hexagons in a straight line. Well, the area is going to be, okay, so that's four. Is the perimeter 14? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, that has a perimeter of 18. So, that's way too long. It needs to be 14. So, what we need to try and do is start squashing the shape up a little bit. So let's try this. At the moment, the shape is too long. So let's try that. Again, the area is going to be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's look at the perimeter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that has a perimeter of 16. And that's still too long. We're looking for a perimeter of 14. So we need to try and squash the shape up even further. Get it more compact. So why don't we try doing a shape like this. So, it's still got four hexagons, so the area will still be four, one, two, three, four, but it's much more tightly compact, and more compact shapes tend to have smaller perimeters. So, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there we've done it. We've found a shape with an area of four and a perimeter of 14, which is what we've been asked for in the question. Just to recap on what we're saying there, is that if you're looking to do a shape that has the same area, same area, but smaller perimeter, you need to try and draw the shape more compact. Because when it's, got a, when it's more compact, it will end up having a smaller perimeter. If it's stretched out, like this one here, four hexagons in a straight line, it will end up having a longer perimeter. More compact will give you the smaller perimeter. So, the pink one's wrong, the green one's wrong, the purple one's correct answer.